Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm fulfilling the promise of creating a video about a list of good mods for anime. So, I decided to make a video covering 30 of the best anime mods I could find for Minecraft. Maybe you might find it so cool, but since this is an anime mod and I haven't watched all of those anime, I need to learn about each series to better understand and recommend them to you. It took longer than I had anticipated. Bro, I think it's quite simple. It's not that simple. To have the best experience, you should understand the anime and the mods mechanism. I have carefully selected good anime mods, based on player reviews and viewer comments, to ensure an enjoyable gaming experience for everyone. Remember to like the video and punch the subscribe button to support me in creating more great content. Let's begin the video now. Let's start today's mod list with one of the most successful anime series of all time, Naruto. Taking a look at Karama, you can probably see why this Nishu Origins Naruto mod is featured in this video. This mod showcases beautifully designed tailed beasts. While they are pixelated, they have the most anime-like appearance among all Naruto mods. However, the capacity of this mod will be very high. As it's a mod about anime ninja, Jutsu is a main content. Chakra and Jutsu are clearly displayed with their own symbols, making them easy to observe. However, one drawback is that all the Jutsu and effects are pixelated. This will cause FPS to drop when performing extremely large-scale Jutsu. Right now, I'm showing you Jutsu that are on a normal scale, but if it's Shinra Tensei, I believe my PC will explode. The mod is still in the completion stage, and there are many Jutsu that cannot be used yet, including Shinra Tensei. Let's look forward to it together. Regardless, these Jutsu are a beautiful and great fit for Minecraft, appearing to be tailor-made for the game. If you don't believe it, just look at the earth blocks or volcanoes created by these Jutsus. It truly deserves praise. I also want to mention two other great features. One is the ability to adjust the character's appearance, such as hair, body, and skin color. Another important aspect in Naruto is the beautifully designed special eyes. In my opinion, they are the best in the Naruto mods I have played, even though now they do not have any outstanding effects. This feature will likely be useful for people who are leaving the village. Huh? The next mod is Sekwa's Naruto mod which has the highest number of downloads among Naruto mods. What's impressive about this mod is that you need to use key combos to perform jutsu, instead of just pressing one key like in other mods. The more special the jutsu, the more complex the key combos required. The mod has been updated to version 1.20, and currently offers a wide range of jutsus. However, to achieve high downloads, we must discuss their old mod version. The jutsus in the current version are good, but in the old version, they are significantly better. You will have a table listing the jutsu that you can use and the key combinations you can perform. For jutsu like multi-shadow clone jutsu, you need to execute the required combination exactly six times key in order to use it. This might pose a challenge, especially in hazardous situations. Jutsus like substitution are more effective in the old version. Instead of a wooden block, you would have an NPC that impersonates your appearance and can move to deceive the enemy. The earth wall will have improved animation, and the fireball will be much more powerful than in the new version. I hope there will be more updates to make it better than the old version. If you are looking for the best Naruto mod, I would recommend HZNB's Naruto Shinobi Craft. This mod features a lot of outstanding jutsu that you can use. These include the Rasen Shuriken created by Naruto, or the Fire Release, Katan Gakaku for releasing a fireball, and the Katan Goka Makyaku, the person who uses it best is probably Madara. You can even hear his sound when using Jutsu. Next is one of the best Jutsu for Sasa leave the village. It allows you to summon a very cool lightning dragon. However, I think it needs to be strengthened because, compared to the anime, it looks quite weak. If you are not impressed with the recent Jutsu, come to experience Shinra Tensei and Shibaku Tensei.
I can't help but mention the Jinchuriki. You have the ability to become any Jinchuriki, and here I choose the Nine Tails Kurama. You can transform into different forms, and your power also grows. In the strongest form, you can become Golden Kurama. When in the Nine Tailed Chakra mode or as Golden Kurama, you will have an almost infinite amount of chakra, which covers part of my screen. Of course, when in Nine Tailed Chakra mode, you can use Jutsus that have crazy powerful destructive power. Next is Gene Game's Naruto C. When you hear the name, it will surely sound familiar because it's created by the same developer as Dragon Block C. Dragon Block C is a well-known Dragon Ball mod, and this may be why Naruto C is not currently updated to newer versions. Just like Dragon Block C, you'll notice that increasing strength stats or skills feels very familiar due to the similar mechanics. There are quite a few different jutsu in the world of Naruto, and you can create various powers and techniques for these jutsu. I'd like to introduce the jutsu that I find most impressive. Some simple jutsu like Chidori or Bunshin no jutsu. You can even use the Sharingan if you want. I find the effects of these jutsu very cool. When it comes to changing appearances, it feels very similar to Dragon Block C. You can even create a character like Vegeta and give him the Sharingan. To use jutsu, you will have three keys to use, and you need to press the correct key combination as shown to use that jutsu. Common jutsus like Raisingan or Chidori have simple combos, but if you create more powerful jutsu combos, they will be extremely complicated. The next anime is Bleach. I'll introduce a mod that a viewer recommended in a previous video comment. After playing through the mod and experiencing most of its features, I included it in my video. One important aspect is that you can choose your race to become a Shinigami, Quincy, Human, or Hollow. You'll have a separate table to upgrade your stats or a slot to place the skill you want from Hado 1. Hado 99, or Senkamen if you choose to become a Shinigami. Next, I will show the Hado and Kido that I find particularly impressive in this mod. Because I don't have extensive knowledge about Bleach, I want to evaluate the quality of this mod to avoid confusion. In my opinion, the mod should include more Hado and Kido, and the spells used need to have great effects design. Additionally, all information is easily accessible to players. But I accidentally used in command to increase the index too high. The second mod related to Bleach is called Bleach Awaken. This mod is so easy to use and in my opinion, the best Bleach mod available. Like most anime mods with a leveling system, you usually have to enter commands to quickly try out all the skills or transformations available in the mod, such as Bankai and Bleach. What sets this mod apart is that it doesn't rely heavily on the same effects as Minecraft Vanilla when using skills, which helps prevent lag issues. When creating a world in the game, you will have a phone to help you choose your race. The available choices will include Human, Hollow, Quincy, and Shinigami. In the context of Bleach, it is impossible not to mention Bankai. In survival mode, you need to level up to unlock Bankai, but you can also use commands to do it. If you choose to be a Shinigami, you can select your style from several types including Fire, Dark, or Speed. Each type will offer different skill enhancements and upgrades. Today's seventh mod is Kometsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer. This is the best Minecraft mod inspired by the series of the same name. It's the only mod from the Demon Slayer series that I find impressive because it includes almost all the swords, breathing and techniques from the anime. What makes it even better is that it's the easiest to use mod among all the anime mods I have played. I will now showcase the breaths that I find most impressive. There are many other great breaths and swords for you to try out. First, let's talk about Tanjiro's sun breathing, which belongs to the main character. I think many of you will love it. If you're not a fan of sun breathing, then you should check out Donut version 2's Flame Breathing Dragon. Its coolness will surely impress you. I enjoy wielding dragon technique swords because of their power and cool design. I've tried out nearly all the swords available in this mod, some featuring a unique dragon technique such as sun, flame, water, and thunder breath. Next is the Death Note anime. True to its name, 
You can kill someone just by writing their name. You can also do that with mobs or NPCs. In addition, you can adjust the time of death or the way they die, such as heart attack, combustion, or smite. Your job is to adjust accordingly, then write down that person's details, and they will be destroyed as you have prescribed. You have the ability to summon the Grim Reaper as shown in movies, but the Grim Reaper's appearance is not as impressive as depicted in the movies. By offering a significant number of golden apples, you can negotiate a deal with the Grim Reaper for your demise. Even though this may seem foolish, accepting the deal will transport you to an entirely black world, the purpose of which remains unknown. When talking about anime, it is impossible not to mention Jujutsu Kaisen, which features amazing Jujutsu skills. Even if you do not know about Jujutsu Kaisen, I think you would enjoy the abilities available in these mods. You might have at least heard about Sukuna's fight and 50% of the internet. When you start using the mod, you can choose your favorite power based on the character name you select. If you prefer not to be split in half and have your body controlled, I recommend you. After selecting your character, you simply need to choose the Jujutsu you want to use and activate it. Each character typically has their own impressive and unique skills. The mod's jujitsu not only creates designs for skills but also generates surrounding terrain for special skills. For instance, the horizon of the captivating skunda is created using this method. Despite the large scale of the jujitsus and the huge skill shapes, I rarely experience FPS drops when using this mod. Next up is another mod with a name similar to the previous one, Jujutsu Kaisen Sorcery Fight. When comparing these two mods, it seems that in this mod, the number of Jujutsu available is less. However, for the same Jujutsu, the only difference is the design of their models or their power index. Comparing these two skills can help you better understand what I mean. In this mod, instead of choosing your favorite character, you can select the jujitsu you want by using scrolls to activate and learn them. The other operations are quite simple, but summoning a shikigami like Maharaga is more complex than using regular jujitsu. Nonetheless, when you summon shikigami, they will provide significant support and assistance. The common feature is that, during their battles, surrounding structures are inevitably destroyed. They are so strong but still broken in half. The next mod in my video is called My Hero RX, and it's based on the My Hero Academia anime. In this mod, players will receive tokens that contain the powers of various My Hero Academia characters. When activated, each token will grant you 5 to 7 unique skills associated with that character. These skills range from creating paths in the air by stone or from compressed ice, to wielding powers like nether fire and lightning, which can damage enemies or increase your movement speed. One particularly useful ability allows you to harness the power of the air, which can prevent enemies from reaching you and deal damage to them. Surely it will be impossible to miss the legendary anime Pokemon. In Minecraft, there are two impressive mods about Pokemon, each with a different design style. First, we have Kabumon, with a pixelated design style similar to the Minecraft mobs. This mod will include many famous Pokemon such as Bulbasaur, Mewtwo, and Not Dragon. When you start the game, you will choose one Pokemon for yourself. If you want to level up quickly, the easiest way is to use a Pokeball. Regular Pokeballs are often more difficult to use for capturing Pokemon compared to Master Balls. With a Master Ball, you can capture almost any Pokemon, regardless of its level. However, it's still possible to capture Pokemon with a regular Pokeball, but it may take more attempts, so patience is key. Apart from capturing Pokemon, you can also engage in battles to increase the level of your Pokemon. Simply point towards the Pokemon you want to challenge, and press the R key to fight or capture them. The next mod we'll be looking at is Pixelmon. It's like an upgraded version of Kabumon, with all the same features as well as additional architectural works like a hospital for Pokemon, a store, or an arena. The mod includes almost all the Pokemon you can see in the anime, and their designs are similar to the style in the anime, but in 3D, making them even more beautiful. Because it is one of the most successful Minecraft mods in terms of mods or mod packs, this is almost the standard for all future Pokemon mods, so the mechanism of some other mods is completely similar to Pixelmon. No surprises. Wait a minute, does anyone find this war very familiar? <laughs> the next mod is the Titan Shifter Mega Pack. This mod is based on Attack on Titan and allows players to transform into Titans and use their powers. 
When creating a map, you will have the option to choose between becoming a human or a titan. If you choose to become a titan, you can select which type of titan you want to transform into, such as colossal, armored, or beast titan. Each type of titan has different abilities. For example, the beast titan can throw rocks to destroy the surrounding terrain, while the colossal titan has the ability to burn the large surrounding area due to its huge size. Additionally, some titans have the ability to move extremely fast. To find the mod for Attack on Titan, search for Shingeki no Kaijin. This mod allows you to play as an Ackerman, utilize anti-titan weapons, and combat titans. You can even soar to elevated terrain. If I had to pick the coolest race, I'd opt for the Eldians and become subjects of Aimer. This race can morph into titans. Apart from being decapitated by your beloved, everything is fine. Transforming into a titan is accompanied by loud noises and thunderous claps. Following the transformation, you will emerge as a naked giant with extraordinary abilities. Titans can also employ special skills that result in extensive destruction. The Warhammer Titan can generate sharp spikes that protrude from the ground and inflict damage on enemies upon impact. However, when discussing immensely destructive titans, one cannot overlook the Colossal Titan. Upon transformation, they surpass the height of the city wall and possess the capability to hurl numerous boulders, triggering explosions that devastate the nearby landscape. With their immense size, all they have to do is fart, and the entire city will suffocate. They do not need to expend their energy by throwing stones. If you're a Tokyo Ghoul series fan, this mod is perfect for you. I haven't come across a better mod for this anime yet, so I'll mention one that's currently in beta. This mod currently features numerous Kaguni, which act as weapons to aid you in attacking enemies. The creator has promised to add armor, ghouls, or bosses in future updates. While it's just a promise for now. This is the mod you've been eagerly anticipating an add-on for the Yes Steve model. For those unfamiliar, this mod enables you to create 3D skin designs in Minecraft. More specifically, this add-on creates waifu skins for you. Of course, before introducing the waifus, I want to share details about the Naruto and Abito skins. First, let's talk about Naruto. One special thing I haven't mentioned yet is that the skin model will have animations specifically designed for it. This means Naruto can use Rasen Shuriken and Shadow Clone Jutsu, which look really cool. Now, moving on to Simp Guy, he can perform extremely beautiful and powerful jutsus, with even more beautiful animations than Naruto, such as Kamui, Blast Wave Wild Dance or Summoning Demonic Statue of the Outer Path. However, their only weakness is that no matter how strong it are, Abito could never have Rin. The only person who can capture Rin's heart is Kakashi. <gasps> when it comes to the most appealing aspect of this mod, it's the incredible animations of these waifu skins. From what I understand, these characters are inspired by Genshin Impact. I believe many people will appreciate these characters brought to life in Minecraft. Personally, I have played Genshin Impact, but it was over two years ago, so the only character I can remember is Lisa, who was also the only character I played at that time. If you're into lowly girls, this mod is also perfect for that.
Chainsaw Man was an anime series that became a phenomenon in the past. This mod allows you to play as Chainsaw Man in Minecraft. You will have cool transformation abilities and powerful fighting skills, including strong damage and extremely high jumping power. To transform into Chainsaw Man, you need Chainsaw Heart. Upon activation, you will be engulfed in darkness for a short time before transforming. The popularity of this anime, in my opinion, stems from its combination of coolness and cuteness, as well as the presence of the extremely useful pet Pachita. Certainly, the hottest anime series at the moment is indispensable. One Piece and the first mod version of this anime is Mine Mine Nomi. Unlike other mods, One Piece mods are difficult to find out which are the best mods because they are all high quality. The Conqueror's Hockey is the rarest form of hockey. When activated, it creates an effect similar to a red lightning bolt emanating from your character. Any enemy within the range of influence of that red lightning will lie to the ground and become immobilized, and the surrounding terrain will slowly begin to crack. However, it takes too long to activate. This ability mirrors what happens in the anime. Observation Hockey doesn't come with cool arrow dodging or bullet animations as seen in the anime, but it does allow the user to create a protective layer around their body, making them impervious to bullets or arrows. In addition, the lower form of Observation Hockey grants the ability to see and sense the presence of enemies in the vicinity. Finally, when Armament Hockey is used, the player's main hand will be surrounded by a layer of red or black, depending on the type used. Upon hitting the enemy, it will generate red lightning-like Conqueror's Hockey, which deals a large amount of damage, so with just a few punches, I was able to easily deal with the wither using my bare hands. When talking about One Piece, it's impossible not to mention Devil Fruits. In this mod, many Devil Fruits have been recreated, so I will introduce you to the iconic Devil Fruits of One Piece. Let's start with Whitebird's Devil Fruit, the Gura Gura no Mi. This is a powerful fruit that allows you to cause devastating earthquakes with just one punch, easily destroying buildings or boats. You can also use it to send anyone who hinders you out. It's a truly formidable power. Next up is the Dona Dona Nomi, a devil fruit that symbolizes the prohibition of using fire type, if you are not the main character. If you don't believe it, just ask a character from Demon Slayer. However, at this moment, the character cannot speak even if they want to. Anyway, being a fire type devil fruit, it's normal for it to be extremely strong. The owner of this devil fruit doesn't need to undergo any sacrifice or battle to become strong. Next up is Blackbeard's Yami Yami Nomi. This devil fruit bestows its user with the ability to engulf everything touched by darkness, be it terrain, mobs, or players. Luffy will have to confront the villain, who possesses this powerful devil fruit, if he wants to achieve his dream. The Yami Yami no Mi is considered the strongest devil fruit in the Logia type, enabling its user to turn everything they desire into darkness. Next is the devil fruit that nearly destroyed the main character and one of the strongest villains in One Piece, which is none other than the devil fruit of Chief Warden of Impelled Down, Magellan. It's incredibly powerful, but he is constipated. Of course, we have to mention the most expensive devil fruit, Opope Nomi. To use its power, you need to create a room and a barrier will surround the area where you stand. While inside this area, you can freely manipulate any object or terrain. This devil fruit allows you to control other people's actions. This devil fruit allows you to captivate the heart of any girl or any person, but it can't grant immortality like in the anime. The second mod for One Piece is called Mind Piece. Unlike the previous mod, this one is a level mod, which means that the higher your level, the stronger you will be. With just one hit, you can defeat the strongest mobs. One difference from Conqueror's Hockey in this mod is that when used, surrounding mobs die immediately instead of just fainting. This shop has the Black Sword Yoru belonging to Myhawk for a sale. It is priced at one stack of emeralds and 50 diamonds. If Myhawk were aware that his swords were being sold at such a low price, this store would be split in half like a white-haired Kit Kat. Regarding swords, while they are inexpensive, they possess great power. Owning one grants significant strength, and legendary swords are unparalleled in their cutting ability. especially when slicing scrap metal in half. When it comes to Devil Fruit abilities, this mod has beautifully designed effects. Let's take a look at some Devil Fruits with great effects. First up is the Dona Dona Nomi, which grants the power of fire, making it no surprise that it has strong destructive capabilities. With this power, you can easily destroy almost any building. 
If you want to learn how to make donuts, I can show you how with the power of a kainu. Despite being a lot fire and hot, it's easy to make with the Magu Magu no Mi powers. In addition to the Lava Fist skill, you can also use other skills like Red Dog or create multiple fists that cause serious damage and destruction to the surrounding terrain. The Goro Goro no Mi fruit is undeniably powerful, but it's unlucky when its user encounters a rubber man like Luffy. Luffy's strength is essential when considering the main character. First, let's talk about one of Luffy's powers, Gear 3rd. In this form, Luffy can deliver giant punches to enemies, but if used excessively, his body will shrink, turning him into a comical-looking child. Now this transformation is one of the most aesthetically pleasing versions of Luffy. Just look at Gear 4th Bound Man and Gear 4th Snakeman, which both boast impressive design. Overall, Luffy performs exceptionally well in these various gear forms. In terms of strength, both forms have skills such as Pistol, Bazooka, or Rocket. The difference is that Snakeman has faster movement speed. As for Luffy's latest gear, it is Gear 5 or Hito Hito no Mi model Nika, and when transformed, he will have the power to defeat Kaido. However, the destructive power of the strongest skill was absent because he probably turned everything into rubber. But when put into Minecraft, it doesn't look strong at all. <coughs> Next is an add-on for Epic Fight, which features Sanji's fighting style called Epic Sanji. Sanji is my favorite character in One Piece. You can utilize both Sanji's leg kicks before and after the time skip. Since it is one of Epic Fight's add-ons, it features great animations. However, I prefer the hit-and-run fighting style over close combat. No matter how skilled you are in martial arts, standing in front of an AK-47, you will still die. The Prime Piece mod showcases the most stunning ships and building designs among all One Piece mods. It includes ships of the legendary Yonko and famous pirates that many people adore in One Piece. The mod creator must be an exceptional builder, given the captivating designs of these ships. Transforming them into a schematic or map could enhance their beauty even more than what's currently available online. Just take a look at Sank Left Arm, which is also designed to be alongside a shipwreck, as depicted in the anime. Now is the time for the Devil Fruit. When using a Devil Fruit, you will have 5 skills corresponding to each different key to activate. If you watch One Piece, you will know which skill has the most devastating power. However, not only is the building beautiful, but all the skills of the Devil Fruit that can transform are beautifully made, and the model is especially professionally designed. The familiar Devil Fruits introduced in previous mods are still very well done. But let's get to the good stuff and start with Kaido's Devil Fruit. You can fly around with Kaido's Dragon Form. This form is designed very similar to the anime, which allows you to recognize it easily. Additionally, you can also use skills in the Dragon Form. If Kaido were in his normal form, he would still possess the ability to use a series of Dragon Skills. These include spitting out a sequence of Lava Spheres, or unleashing the Dragon's Breath, which causes a large amount of damage to anyone hit. Kaido's strength is so immense that if Oda hadn't given Luffy a power boost to achieve Gear 5, it's likely that the Wano Country arc in One Piece would have marked the end of the series. In addition to Kaido's Devil Fruit, which the author chosen as the mod symbol, we also have Marco's power with the Tori Tori no Mi model Phoenix. If you don't like that, you can steal your enemy's heart with Law's power. However, using the same effects as in Minecraft is a downside for me. Nonetheless, with what this mod can do, it is still among the best One Piece mods in Minecraft. The 23rd mod is an anime mod that may be quite unfamiliar to everyone, called That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. This is a mod that viewers want to introduce to everyone. After played, I found this to be a very good mod. In terms of genre, I would classify it as a mage but with a leveling mechanism. The higher your level, the more you will be able to unlock different spells depending on the race you choose, vampire, goblin or slime. You can summon lightning anywhere you want within sight. Fly, dig any block without any tools on hand. 
or simply be given a set of armor and a pretty cool appearance. Honestly, this mod features high-quality spells. However, if you're new to the anime or a beginner, you might find it difficult to understand how the mod works while playing. I hope the mod will be updated in the future to make it a bit easier to understand. Having a guidebook available when creating a map for the first time would also be a great idea. Definitely indispensable, Dragon Ball is the greatest anime series of all time. Today, I will be sharing with you two mods. I actually want more mods, but the others are not up to standard or I haven't found another great mod yet. The first mod will be the Dragon Block Super Mod. When starting the game or mod, like most others that use levels, you'll need to select your race. I think everyone starts as a scion. To quickly learn Super Scion states and ultimate skills, I'll use commands. The display will have five blank cells, including four slots for skills and a fifth slot for the Super Scion state. When activated, you'll be able to transform into the state you need. All mobs in Minecraft Vanilla can't handle the damage from the attacks in this mod. With just one hit, they die almost instantly. So, the best choice is to fight villains or characters from Dragon Ball. I have to admit, everyone here will definitely like Cell, one of my favorite villains from when I read the manga as a kid. However, in some miraculous way, the author let this character fade into obscurity, just because he hated drawing the black dots on Cell's body. When discussing Dragon Ball villains, it's impossible not to mention the favorite and most successful villain, Frieza. Even if you achieve Ultra Instinct, you can't defeat him with just one hit. Even though I enjoy Dragon Block Super, I believe that Dragon Block C is the best and most comprehensive mod among all the Dragon Ball mods. If you've been using mods for a long time, chances are you've spent a lot of time playing Dragon Block C and its mod acts. When creating a map, we will start by choosing a race, and as always, selecting a scion. Then, we will move on to selecting a hairstyle. I want to choose Vegeta's style. After that, I will pick a power type and then key. Additionally, you have the option to choose or a color. Once these are completed, you can turn on and display various stats for your character. Your task is to choose which stat to increase each time you level up. To save time, I set all stats to the maximum value so I wouldn't have to choose individually. In the skill table, you can create new skills and adjust their types and the amount of key needed to reach their maximum power. Some famous skills can be learned directly from a character with that skill or from a master. For example, Kaoken can be easily learned, but using it requires a large amount of health and strength. Otherwise, the consequences are extremely serious. Additionally, transforming into the latest states like Ultra Instinct is awesome, and the effects are just like those seen in the anime with characters like Son Goku. Famous skills like Kamehameha or Genki Dama are almost created with identical animations. Only Dragon Ball's trademark skills have sounds, such as screams or characteristic absorption sounds. If you use self-created skills, they are almost synchronized with sound. It is a fact that when we create skills, they will have greater power than skills like Kamehameha or Genki Dama because you can adjust the amount of power and key that the skill uses. As for special skills, a certain number has been fixed, partly because I'm currently in my strongest state. It's only right that it's strong. Wait a minute. Why can Vegeta use Ultra Instinct? Where is my Ultra Ego? The next mod is Tokyo Revengers mod which is based on the anime of the same name. It allows you to transform into characters from Tokyo Revengers or fight with those characters. This is Mikey A.K. Sano Manjiro, and I have some gifts to give him. I believe he will be very happy. The movie is about the conflict between gangs in Tokyo. They employ martial arts skills to settle their disputes. If you haven't seen it, it's important to know that Black is the protagonist and Red is the antagonist. However, the problem is why they choose to fight with their bare hands. Take this and show them what real martial arts are. There are also some amusing character designs in this mod, but I'm not referring to his face. Huh?
You desire a powerful punch like this in Minecraft. Use the One Punch Man data pack. With just one punch, you can obliterate a large area and defeat anyone who challenges you. To become Saitama, dye your leather armor with the following colors. Dye the boots red, the pants and tunic yellow. Then, just put it on, and you can become Saitama. It's as simple as how Saitama becomes strong in the anime. The weakest punch is the weak series, which does not cause much damage and poor destructive capability. Then there's the normal series, which is stronger and more destructive, about equal to 20 TNT block in my opinion. The most powerful punch is the serious series, inspired by an impressive punch used by the author in the anime when fighting Genos. In Minecraft, the serious series punch can destroy everything in its path, gradually increasing in size. If you turn around while using this punch, it will create a funnel-shaped destruction in the terrain. The next mod is Jojo's Bizarre Survival. It's based on the anime Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and allows you to have differently shaped stands, which are like support characters that accompany you and aid you in combat and teleportation. There are numerous stands with varying origins and appearances, but one thing I dislike about this mod is that when summoned, the stands stand in front of you, which obstructs your view. I really hate that. To the creator of this mod, please fix the issue of the stand standing in front of the character. If you were to ask me which JoJo's mod is the best, I would say Ripples of the Past. This mod has a beautiful stand design, and the stand's abilities are displayed on the player's main screen, making it easy to know if the cooldown time is correct or not. After using several stands, I noticed that they all share the Muda Muda ability. Some also have special abilities such as stopping time, or the ability to swing on a rope like Spider-Man. Some stands also use swords for fighting and retain the familiar Muda 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 ability to easily destroy enemies. The ability to swing on a rope is also extremely convenient. Along with these familiar abilities, there are countless other abilities of each stand for you to explore. Next is a manga I read when I was in junior high school called Hunter x Hunter. When I read the manga, it wasn't complete, so I still don't know the whole story. One of my favorite characters is Hisoka. In the first episodes, when he caused the person who touched his shoulder to lose their arm, I thought he was an extremely cool villain. Regarding the mod, it allows you to gain the powers of the characters in Hunter x Hunter. Each character will have from 1 to 3 powers, corresponding to the activation key clearly stated on the icon of that power. These powers range from powerful explosions to hundreds of blades slashing around, or the utilization of the power of dragons. When considering skills, I don't highly value visual effects. If I have to evaluate them, they are only decent because the effects used in this modification are the same as those in Minecraft Vanilla. However, excessive use can cause a drop in FPS. In addition, I find skills shaped like dragons unimpressive. When skills with dragon themes are used, they either fail to stand out, or are not easily recognizable as dragons. If you wish, you can also create battles between NPCs. They will fight using various skills and may even destroy nearby buildings, so be cautious when using them. Here are the top 30 best anime mods for Minecraft that I found. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you for watching. And if you have any comments, please leave them below in the comments section. Remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next videos.